Welcome to Photoshop uh, Final Project Ideas. Um, this one's going to be a little bit over the maps. Normally it's a little more buttoned up and I just stand one program, but in this case, be hopping around between Photoshop, uh, Acrobat, and the web. So we're going to go with people, places, and things. So I want you to basically showcase all of your um, skills that you've learned this term. Uh, I know it's been fast and furious, but you've been building up tools in your tool set. And here I have an example of an advanced um, commercial composite. Composite. This particular one is a little more Photoshop, uh, I mean a little bit more photography based, but you could composite something. Here you take all these elements and you put them together of a photo and you come out with a finalized theme and you have to have sort of an overarching reason or something in mind. Um, so this you can start, this is what the final piece looks like. And um, you can see all the different activity. You've got the guy obviously clicking to watch a TV, yet the, yet the couch is outdoors and there's a little squirrel and a dog running and the kids hanging from the tree and shooting the water gun and there's a little image hanging on the tree. You know, this is sort of throwing upside down the happy family. The mom wants to know what's going on. But what you have is a visually resting image. So, and an image that's telling a story. So give some sort of story, whether it's a brand identity or a story in your image. This shows all the stages and um, actually looking through you can just composite something that's just more artistic and isn't as literal as trying to sell something. I mean, this could be for a music ad, um, <clears throat> selling skateboards. Um, just come up with something where you are bringing a bunch of stuff together and showcasing your skills. Um, that doesn't sound that specific, but you can sort of see here what I mean by that. You're bringing together all these disparate items and you are going to make a piece of your own. Um, <clears throat> this is a little bit more of personal photography, but basically you're trying to come up with something that you could put in your portfolio and use when somebody is asking you, um, you know, for one of your pieces of your work. So you can sort of, the thing with software is, and there's an example of a poster. Um, <clears throat> people always want us to know, software is very much about what you can do and you can't, and sort of always showcasing what you can do. And people always wanna know, they wanna see your work. That's the first thing people are gonna say. Do you have a portfolio? Can you show me something? You can't just say, oh, I know Photoshop and then, you know, Photoshop, you have to give examples. So this is another piece. I'm just sort of clicking through pieces that you could do. Other ideas that I have, um, and you can take from any of these, I really want you to, very importantly, A, use your imagination wildly, B, include as many well-designed um, and corresponding pieces as time allows. Um, you could have a minimum of three, but it depends on really what your overarching idea is and what it is you're designing. So I can't really make any hard and fast rules as far as the submission goes. Um, do spend some time on it. Don't just rush it at the end and have something you really are proud of and you can show that you what you've learned and all the different things sort of pull all those elements together from the exercises we've done in the book because the exercises are really just training wheels. Um, think in terms of something professional you would like to include for samples to be hired. You can use real or imaginary branding. Uh, if you do something real, completely redesign it, like the, the Met Museum just got a new logo after, I don't even know, decades. And you could treat it as a rebranding pro um, project. You can think of space how you could decorate like an, a sports stadium, thinking of this football image we're looking at. You could brand a person, with an actor, actress, um, billboards, mailing postcard. Um, you could do like a tech show. You could think of it in terms of what would be on the screen. You know, I worked on um, a big cable provider and everything that went into their screens 
was very key to the um, proposition of the advertising if they were even just selling triple play or whatnot the content that went on the screens so you could do like sort of you don't have to you know do any kind of architecture but you could put a composite of what you would put on the screens that's a big thing in retouching uh, for work uh, you could do some sort of rebranding packaging you know wine label um, logo uh, you know in in context of something though so really make it in a branding either of a space a product company and <clears throat> you know really really go forward looking I've, I'm gonna include some articles here <clears throat> think of very successful brands and think of how you see them in many many contexts all around the world um, and you're exposed to them in many ways um, the other thing is, that's just my Google page, tech conference branding, you get into these gorgeous banners that you can put on a website, then you can deal with a poster that would be printed and physical, and then something that you could put up on a screen like this, um, something in the actual environment. And Photoshop can be used in any of those contexts. Uh, sorry, I can't grab that. There's uh, other things you could do. These are very photo intensive landing pages of websites. This is more like a billboard. You could translate that into a billboard as well. These are some good examples. I'll include that article on the Pinterest board as well. And think of it in, in, in an entirety of a layout, no matter what pieces or portions you're working on. Think of it as a, as a whole and think of it in terms of your grid and the Fibonacci um, golden ratio. Uh, think of where you're placing things and and how everything uh, is working together and second note just to wrap up I just wanted to show a couple files I've removed the logos because some of this stuff isn't live yet but um, you know we've gotten to some compositing and some complicated stuff this is a frame that shows the states um, and I just want to show you that in real life some of these are missing which is the arrow because some of these fonts um, you know these things get a little bit complicated and you've got all these images for buttons and banners that are put together um, and here's another example of a state so you have your banner right and I'm just trying to sort of give you a scope of like real life stuff like in the wild Photoshop being used in the wild um, and you can see I've removed logo Oh, that one logos there so you can see how this is an animated state but it's built in Photoshop and this is all a matter of layers right turning them on and off and creating a state so um, but each piece is built and you have so much going on which is sort of why I say pay very close attention and then you're turning things on and off which I thought I had done call to action button um, here's some more complicated this is a mobile version of a um, more states here we've lost my little panel sorry I'm just looking at the layers and now I'm looking for oh well anyways just look here um, this really pull this out and get a little more complicated so things can really get you know out in the wild you are working with these folders inside of folders inside of what's been turned on um, you know you've got rasterized layers you've got text you've got linked layers um, you've got these links to PSBs where you can have a central file that's shared between multiple files and these are all very different treatments in different layers and this is uh, what it actually looks like to work and use this um, here's another version of a mobile this logo has been taken out but this is a very complex website and it's only just beginning um, that you see all of these different areas these pieces are all links they are common between the many many pages this section the vertical alone is you know about 120 pages 
And um, so this is where you start thinking and, and you have all the different states. Start thinking about this, you know, the power of Photoshop and, and what it can be used for commercial use, for professional use. This is just an example of all of the um, banners. There's a light box uh, comp uh, popping up. Um, something with a little, this is just a simple one because it's only one page that I showed you the com com companion mobile. But, you know, um, that really doesn't show too much the power, but just what what it can be used for as well. It's not just um, everything we're learning layers masks. Um, it's it's got a very long reach and can be used um, for many things in many ways. And you know, the creative director I'm working on this with her wizardry. It's it's just really you know, you're, you've got to really apply your skills. So that is what the opportunity of the final project is. And don't hesitate to contact me with any questions or guidance, or if you want to show me some rough comps, I know we don't have a lot of time, but um, feel like you're heading the right directions, or you just want to sort of sketch out some ideas to begin. Great.